And welcome back. This is Kota. Hope you all had a good Sunday. But we have a War of Secession now. This is uh, the first map. It is Piper Farm 271 on the uh, server pop, 133 on the defending CSA versus 138 on the attacking Union. Now this is actually side swapped uh, based on the map draw. So uh, on the campaign side, it's actually the Union team. That's the CSA. And if the CSA wins this battle, um, from what I understand, they win the campaign. So uh, this is a pretty important battle. It's a knockout round. So if the Union in-game team wins, um, they take the cake and they uh, win the first campaign, the Battle of Manassas for or Secession campaign. But let's take a look at the two teams here as they get set. Looks like we got 20th New York, CJ on Artie. And we've got EB here under Warlord. Are we the Irish 83rd brigade? under Caddy. IB under Will. Trooper leading the second U.S. Ninth Corps under Prattley. HD under Sibisku. I'm assuming Biscuit, but it's got cut off. I'm not sure. Let's see here. Who else do we have? This Ninth Corps. And then we've got 32nd Ohio here under Corporal White. Looks like some more. Looks like EB has a few gunners as well. Let's take a look at the other, the Union team, they're alive at 40, so they're already going to start shooting. Swing over to the Artie real quick. We catch the opening barrage here. Oh, okay. Oh, they can't load until 43, that's right. Um, so it looks like we got HL um, under Pocket Watch here. And we've also got Hanko with the first VA. See if I can catch the first battery here as it goes off. Uh, they, they can't touch the gun, so they got a few seconds here. So we'll hopefully see the impacts as I go and uh, check out the Union team and who is leading. We have the PB under Legion. We got MB under Colonel Metal. Eighth Alabama under Name Rider. JD under Colonel D's, first VA under Connor, HL under Wilkes, TB under Knight, and I think that's it. I think SR's in here too, I think they switched teams. And it's those opening shots coming in. Watch out for friendlies if you're aiming low. Looks like a major push by that Union team. Minus uh, the PB in the center there on this uh, CSA left flank here. A heavy push down this road. The CSA is waiting for him. PB's going to take a shot and fall back. Meanwhile, this Union team is still flooding in here, trying to set up a strong point off of this wall here. We do have TB providing some flanking covering fire. Uh, right now, it's a lot of troops in a very small area, and there's a lot of CSA Artie that's looking down this road. We'll see if they can make themselves felt. We've got a pretty classic L formation developing here, as you can see along the road. Which is very effective because you can see it's right on the boundary, so there's no danger of being flanked from the right side. So it's a very strong formation. Uh, the difficulty will it? We'll see if the Artie can make itself felt again. That's the that's going to be, I think, the deciding factor here. So far, not really seeing the cannons go off. Uh, I think they're operating a little bit too dispersed with like about one guy on each gun here. That's not really, they're not getting very good speed. There's a shot off. Kind of packed it on the surface there. Didn't really do too much damage. Oh, 
Another shot coming in. That one came in a little bit short. So keeping an eye on PB, I haven't seen them make really any big move yet. Looks like they've actually rotated over more to this side here. Kind of surprised they're not making a raid up the top there. Trying to uh, hit from the other side. I think Legion had a great opportunity to do so. With pretty much the entire CSA team now concentrated over here. And the CSA is kind of getting pushed back a little bit here. She's fire, she's fire. Hold fire. Fire is being held. It is burning my hand. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend holding fire. That would hurt, you know. It sounds slippery, too. Looks like he's going to try to move over here and get a better firing position. Um, I think this is a much better firing position for them. I think this is a good movement here by Warlord. We'll have a nice angle of attack against JD. JD, in fact, needs to get out of here quick or they're going to lose a lot of casualties kneeling behind that wall. Yeah, you see, they figured it out. they got to get out of there. So, good maneuver there by Mr. Warlord. Let's push back the JD and help to take some pressure off of this position. Hate that see the map though. It's it makes perfect sense why they're doing it. Just it's just hard to kind of cover it. We are gonna be changing the map. You can see all that mass up on the top of the hill, boys. Move the case on the move left or right. Okay, again. Position two. Five. Back to the sea, rise. East, southeast, you can kind of see a flag. Take aim at that flag. Steady. Take aim. Steady. Fire. Yeah, really, the Artie, I would say, needs to concentrate on destroying the wall. That should be what they're trying to do right now. So I would say, I would recommend right now, gels and just aim for the wall. Don't even worry about killing right now. You just want to... Ah, uh, you see, unfortunately, that bounced. It did do a little bit of damage here. But that's what you want to do. You want to do as much damage as you can to this wall here. So minimal fuse and, you know, try to get the shell to explode right on the wall. It's not easy at this distance, but that's what you need to try to do. Red and gold, crouch you up. Crouch you up, boys. Yep. Hit him in. 15. Five. Oh. Five. Four. Uh, we have a charge developing here. Yeah, it looks like several troops are coming in. I think this will work fairly well. A good chunk of the CSA is a little bit out of position here. It's a good opportunity for the Union, I think. They might not win it, but I think they'll do a decent amount of damage. I wouldn't bring the flag forwards, though. That's silly. Hook around. PB, come with us, please. We're hooking around. Go for those flags. Go for the flags. Tennessee. Hit them. Yes, that's what you need to do. Good job by the 10th Tennessee. Or the TS TB in general. I'm not sure which element it was. But uh, trying to push the flags back. I like the uh, positioning of the flags back here, and they, they wisely got out of there in time. But uh, a good maneuvering by all. And again, this is this is probably not going to succeed. Uh, you can see it's kind of uh, losing steam here. I don't, again, I don't know why they brought the flags forward. That's probably the one thing I would uh, criticize the Union team on. Um, 
because now you have a bunch of drop flags here in the middle of the field that's going to make any kind of long distance shooting uh, much more difficult to sustain. Not even long distance, just mid-range shooting. But as you can see, even though it wasn't successful, they have uh, gotten a bit of a ticket lead at the 34 minute mark. Have them very close now to engage, so a, uh, even though it didn't uh, win the day, I would say a very worthwhile attack um, done by the CSA. I'm sorry, done by the Union. Um, decent defense by the CSA, but again, they were a little bit out of position. Now again, I like the maneuver over here, but um, and they moved up though, so I can't criticize it too much. They didn't move up, so that entire thing. that's that's fine. Um, yeah, you made a slaughter. The problem is the tickets. Um, you got you got to defeat it a little bit faster. So. See what the Union does next. Looks like they're going to stay on this right side of the field. Now, there is no Steam Chat or outside communication in this event, so it's all done by messengers. You can't even use Text Chat to coordinate your movement, so it is not an easy uh, endeavor to pull off these attacks. And that last one was quite good, so... This, this in-game Union team has been quite good this entire season at uh, coordinating their attacks. Um, and it is... Uh, Benefited them greatly. Although we're right now uh, going tonight, we are nine and nine on this campaign, so a dead even result so far. But we will see who takes the day. And this, by the way, on the big board is Manassas, the Battle of uh, First Manassas, and this battle is actually taking place at Manassas Junction as kind of like the final battle. Well, not necessarily the final battle, but. If the in-game Union team wins, then the uh, CSA campaign team uh, takes away the campaign victory. Again, back to that L formation. And I do have a bit more force here, kind of down here, shooting over this way. Um, which I don't oppose, I would actually... If it was me, I might even think about uh, waiting a little bit more this direction here and maybe even moving up to this snake fence here and trying to push them off with some fire before the charge goes in. That way you can uh, you know, try to get behind them a little bit easier. You got a little bit less space to, uh, to cover. Yeah, you're a little bit vulnerable to arty, but I think you could outshoot the arty to be honest with you. How many deaths have you died? I haven't died at all yet. Uh, I'm up to... Five. Five! Oh, I didn't even see what acted. <laughs> he died again! He died again! See the CSA using the uh, wagons, well, the caissons, wagons, whatever you want to call them. It's decent cover. Oh, trying to get the flag, that's a mistake. I know it's tempting, but uh, you really just gotta wait for it to respawn. There's no point in giving away tickets. Got another f is he be making a forward movement? Uh, Warlord's just kind of scouting it out. Or maybe he is. Okay. Again, I think HD, if you're going to have EB up in this location, there's no point in having HD here. You don't need both. You need one or the other. Anything more is a waste of uh, manpower. And you need that manpower. Nice volley from EB. Watch this drive. Really, that point is to not let him get too uh, far up on this uh, stone wall. But again, you could do that either by doing what EB is doing, or you could do it through HD. But having both, it's too much pressure on this side without too much gain. So now CSA is behind on tickets. They have hit engaged first. That is not great for that CSA team. Ooh. 
Uh, still sending guys out to get flags and get shot out of line. Union has hit and gauge, so very close on tickets. Again, uh, even favors the defenders, so. Uh, so again, this now this is starting to do a little bit better here. You can see that Artie is starting to work on this wall here. You need to continue focusing on it, I would say. As long as there's troops there, you continue focusing on it. If they leave, you don't need to shoot it anymore. But uh, you want to deny them this uh, defensive position shape it with uh, fires, with the already fires there. Uh, I think it's about time to get out of there, guys. It might have the fuse all the way down, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna die. You can wait the whole 10 seconds. So now we got a new maneuver down here against this exposed oh, flank right. here. Wilkes is in the lead. I think this is a much softer target here. See, they could kind of come up here on the 83rd and 32nd here. They want to. I would keep charging through this. I don't know why they're stopping. Uh, yeah, the nice look at ball. He didn't really kill too many, though. Yeah, now that you gave that volley, you've given up time. And now, look at what happens here. Here comes 9th Corps. Versus if you had gotten up here and waited to do your volley or even just waited and saved a shot. Been in a much better position to uh, deal with this threat over here. On this line, on this line, now they got time to bring people up to shoot you. I guess they didn't want to attack forward, they just wanted to cap, but... Um... Yeah, I suppose. Being even on tickets, I think it's probably the right Pull move back. doing what uh, Wilkes just did there, actually, more than I'm thinking about it. Because, uh... Now, you know, because they're even, you know, they're gonna have to come out, but they're not gonna get any uh, tickets back, so... It really just benefits the C the Union team, so... Yeah, I think Wilkes had the right call there of not going up and attacking and just going in and capping and falling back like he did, so... Yep, we're making room, we're making room. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he just got clapped. <laughs> I spot a CSA flag for Southwest. Now, for the CSA, um, they need to cap as quickly as possible. They need to recap, uh, but they need to try to avoid losing too many troops doing so. This is good for the Union team, too, for the Yardie. They, they know where the uh, CSA will be, and they can kind of lace in targets here and play for them to emerge and hit them hard when they do so. So I would say the key is you don't need to charge them out. Um, 
Although you might want to with the arty. You might want to not expose yourself like this, so. It's not an easy decision to make. I guess you really gotta judge in how much of a danger is the Union Arty. And again, you can you can take some losses taking the point back. It's actually better to do so quicker. Um, because the more you're trading down the Union team, the less you're going to get back when you retake the point. So um, These guys over here need to start getting in the fight. This is over over here. There's literally nothing going on over here. Literally nothing. You need to move up and assist. You know, if you want to leave like HD as a guard over here, sure. But EB has a great opportunity, if they want to, to swing up to this position right here and hit the Union in the flank, and they would be very much caught unawares because they're busy fighting these guys. They likely wouldn't see it. We'll see if EB makes a move like that. But right now, just doing this shootout is not really favoring the CSA. I mean, you could try to make a move along this flank here, but it's it's much more observable. You could you could possibly do it. But I like this one because you can retreat back over. You know, you can sit here and shoot and they come at you and then you just boogie back. And you know they gotta expose themselves to that flanking fire that whole time. So. Go right behind the hay, right behind the hay. With the friendlies, with the friendlies, with the friendlies, let's go. Uh, instead they're gonna go for a frontal yes, charge going in. here. Second US, we're going in, Rally's going in. Let's go, second. And it is not a good charge here, it is discombobulated. And it's kind of just getting stuck here. Push team, fight together, push team, fight together, push team, fight together. Make sure it's not skirmishing over here. And this is not a good charge here. Still got elements kind of filtering in here. But a lot of CSA is not committed. And again, you still have EB fully uncommitted over there. You're going to leave these poor guys out here to die. You suck, yeah! Pull back, eight. Pull back, eight. Alright, so now the Union is going to counterattack up. And this actually really works to the Union favor right now. They are costing the CSA a ton of tickets, which again, they will only get back the level that the Union is at. So it is fine to take some casualties right now. He's correct. You should just be holding here. The only thing I would be concerned about is if the Artie's a problem. But you got to make that judgment. Do you think you're going to get nailed by the Artie standing here or not? If you are charging, if not, just shoot him. Shoot him down and retake the point. Again, you, you, you are actually hurting yourself killing enemy right now. You are actually hurting. <laughs> It's counterintuitive, but the only concern you should have right now is recapping. Killing the enemy is actually counter is hurts you. Charge them the fuck out! Charge them the fuck out! Oh man, we're getting fucking white. We're getting white here. Again, that's fine for now. You kind of want to lose a few more men now. You want to get them as low as possible. I'm sorry. 
Now you want to pull out, so there you go. Both teams are now at uh, very close to taking losses. Alright, now EB moved up. Jesus Christ, finally. And they're leaving. Okay. I mean, are they engaging you? Hello. He's gonna run all the way back there, huh? Now we got the CSA at taking losses. Union at just about engaged. 25 30 left. So um, if I was the Union, I'd slow the fight down for a little bit. Try to get them down. They could rinse and repeat and do what they just did, actually, if they also wanted to. Um, depends on how they want to approach it. I think they have enough tickets they could pull off a um, another cap and fighting off the cap again. Um, or, again, they could kind of be like, okay, we think in the next 10 minutes or so we can get them down in Morale State. Um, let's do that. See which way they uh, decide to go. Again, a lot of union on this side and not too much for CSA. So I'm still in favor of you know the other option too, but they could go for a full attack, run through the point, not cap it, and just try to sweep up the CSA over here and kind of fight over this position. You know, get them down to breaking and then just sneak in and cap. That is another option for them if they want to go that way. Kind of take this path. Yeah, come up. Sweep all this up. Off a point. Sweep up here. Fight through here. Because they're going to counter charge you right in the hay bales. And then, you know, once they hit breaking, you know, who's ever coming back in just goes to point. So it looks like the, C the Union has opted for a shootout plan, which again, I think is a viable strategy. Just gotta watch the time. It's the only thing that's uh, up with that plan, you just gotta be cognizant of it. That was good. That was nice. Good shots. It's down to Chris, Keep boys. it up, boys. Looks like 8th Alabama and 1st VA are going to try their luck at that route I was talking about earlier. We'll see. I think this might be a little bit uh, too little on force here, but I think they can still do a lot of damage. We'll see how it goes for them. 
key is violence on the objective. The shoot, stopping and shooting shit. Makes no sense. You need to, you need to get in on them. Make it a bayonet fight. You don't want to give them a line here. Give them time to react. They've got a full union unit on our far right. Can you get smaller units to deal with if we need the big guys in left fire? The whole line should be ready. See, it's all these tiny units over here, like 79, 32nd, 2 US. Like, first V and 8th Alabama could easily wipe this out. For very nice tickets as well, and then really put Prattley in a, in a, in a chokehold. But you wait too long, Prattley's going to move up on you. Oh, here's some free tickets for you. Send the gift to CJ, Union team. Just gave you 15 tickets. They're definitely going for the shootout strategy here. Right, we're we're right. Got the L formation ready, back again. Stay ready. Check. 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 Looks like 8th Alabama and 1st V are going to pull out. Come on, what are you HD boys? Get up here, ball metal. Maybe they're just reorienting. Stupid house. I don't think they're going to cap, but if they do cap, we're lost standing. If they do cap, we've got to try and lost standing. Uh, I think Bradley is right. If they do a cap, that's the only choice you got. Although that is not impossible with seven minutes. I don't think the Union's looking to do an early cap this early. At this point, I think you committed to the uh, shooting strategy. Not this. Is JD going in for an attack? Does appear to be unsupported though. Looks like more of the Union's flooding in now, but uh, not a very good charge this time by the Union at all. You can see how spread out and kind of limp this whole thing is. Giving away a lot of tickets for nothing. Oh, those are out of lines. On the line, boys. Get your loads. Not a good attack. Not a good attack. <laughs> get in the caissons. Get covered. Get covered. Want to coordinate? It's tough. You don't have steam chat, but uh, you know, they're not too far away to send a runner. You know, it's not like they're across the field. They're right there. It's right there. It's, you, your teammates are right by you.
Check, check, check. Check. Right, fill in that hole. Mecco. Fill in that hole. Good job. Right, fill, in hole. fill in that hole. Right. Jeff. Fill the hole. Right yeah, I think there's not yeah. a There we go. Ooh. 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 Ooh
Again, that comes back to the, uh, good positioning there by Legion. Although he's not going to just let himself get killed there. He's going to pull back the friendlies here. Suck the Union. All right, now these guys should be going, and they are. Oh, they should all be going. Why are you not all going? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go. Up and over. Up and over. Up and over. There you go. Get moving. Get over this fucking wall. I hate this. I hate this wall. It's a little bit of a delay there, Knight. Now JD's kind of going in by itself. I don't know what happened there. Now you put take the pressure on here, and these guys can move up and cap the point. Take the caissons. Now you just put them into a little bit box here, and these guys should be moving up now. Oh, no, no, now you need to be putting pressure on. Because these guys are going to get savaged here if you wait too long. This is the time to move up. Cap. Know where your friendlies are. They've opened the door for you. I mean, you... There we go. Because he was waiting to get reloads, which is uh, not a bad idea, but yeah, you only need to go so far to cap. You don't need to go all the way. You just need to come up here, get a nice thick line, just like that. And I wouldn't even volley, man. I would just put them on independent fire as they come out. Because when you volley, you're actually putting yourself pretty vulnerable here to a counterattack. But um, you know, oh, I just stay there. Why, 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 why pull off? Just cap it, force him out. Hey, see, now you move back. Now now everybody's going to shoot at poor 8th Alabama. Yeah, see, now you left 8th Alabama a little bit vulnerable. We'll see if Legion and First VA can save him. I don't know why Wilkes pulled back there. Left these guys kind of vulnerable. Here comes the charge. They might be able to feed him in detail now. You need on breaking. Now Wilkes is coming up here. But again, those guys are already killed. These guys need to charge in now. And not against those guys. They need to hit this side. Uh, you see, defeat in detail. Became too disaggregated. And that's what happens. These guys are coming at the right angle. They might be able to win it. They should be able to at the very least get them to the last stand, even if they can't win it. Yep, there's the last stand. Why not getting the flag up there? Let's go, let's go. Get this guy, get this guy. Uh, get this guy. Union flag Rebel's right coming, there. Rebel's coming, Rebel's coming. Stop, stop, stop. So now the CSA is going to get to the wall here, but I think these guys will get here first and nail them. We'll see if they can get them. I think the Union got there just in time. And even though it looks like the CSA is winning right now, they're not going to be able to wipe this out fast enough. And they're taking too many losses doing so. They won't get them on the final push. Now, if they keep streaming in here, they might. Uh, 
know, whoever's still up here needs to get down here. Uh, you can still be a body on point. But you know, fuck your team. Not my campaign. Uh, looks like the Alabama will get the flank on him, and this should end it. Who's where? Uh -huh, Y'all losing. Let's get it. Let's get it. end it. You know what? It's Alabama on me. Break your low shift. Wait, we're gonna cap point. It's Alabama. Move it right. It's Alabama, shoot the right. Uh, what the stigma? It's Alabama, don't stop, y'all. Um, what the stigma? Um, actually, what the stigma? <laughs> Stay together, boys! Yay! There's the end. So the uh, CSA will win the first campaign of Manassas uh, and will defeat the Union. So a big win for them. Um, I think the next battle will just kind of be a fun battle. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, yeah, so first campaign ends with a victory for the CSA for the uh, fourth session.